I would suggest as among the matters that you have to look into is the number of senators that we must have. The 1935 Constitution established a number of 24. Binago yan ang 1987 Constitution. 24, pero one half of the members of the Senate must be elected every six years. Di ba? Every, every six years yata yun. Apo, apo. Every six years po, apo. Delicado yan. They did not understand why under the 1935 Constitution, the wise men of the Philippines, Silarecto, Alolan, Cuenco, Briones, Amir Laurel, at Maosias, Bukobo, kung sino-sino dyan na magagaling ang utak, ginawa nilang 24, but every two years exposed to the mandate of the people, eight of these 24 people, and 2016 will remain standing all the time, was Im embedded in the Constitution. They did not understand that. The purpose of changing eight every two years was to be sure that two-thirds of all the senators must be in place at any given time without any interregnum. So that in case of danger, war, invasion, or rebellion, like what uh, happened to us, or any kind of emergency, epidemic, uh, pandemic, there must always be 16 senators that can be relied upon to maintain the government of the Republic of the Philippines, not for their sake, but for the sake of the Filipino people, for their safety and security. That was the underlying, underpinning idea of maintaining 16 senators all the time. And if we are going to change the number of senators at the present time to be in tune with the number, the expanded population of the country at the time of the adoption of the 1935 Constitution, we were only 12 million people. Now we are more than 100 million people. And if we're going to increase the number of senators, I would suggest that we double the present number, 24 to 48. And of that 48, 16 will go out every two years to be elected by the people for, so that new, press and modernized mind will enter the system to contribute to the intellectual capability or academic capability of the remaining members.